Now, in the UK, protests are escalating against oil and gas companies planning to expand fracking. At one drilling site operated by the company Dart Energy, fears have been increased by the risk of unexploded bombs underground. But as RT's Union O'Neill reports, for the politicians' business interests come first. Earthquakes, dead farm animals, water contamination. Welcome to the controversial world of fracking. If you're from Great Britain, fracking is coming to a place near you. That's because a recent report showed that half the country could be liable for licensing for shale gas exploration. And some of the examples I gave earlier into the dubious side effects, that could really just be the tip of the iceberg as long-term effect studies are simply rare on the ground. Chris Faulkner, thanks so much for coming into the RT offices to speak to us today. Thanks for having me, appreciate it. Now, isn't it true to say we simply don't know what the consequences could be when it comes to fracking down the line? In the UK, do we have data specific in the United Kingdom and Europe? No, because it's an emerging play. Can I just go in on that? Because one sure. of the points, uh, a recent report by leading academics throughout the UK, they said that there were a number of, quote, unknowns when it comes to safety and health about future fracking areas and that seems to be the issue here what will occur in the future so i think we have good data i think now academics may may try to argue that there's no data in the uk but it, the geology might be a little bit different but the process of fracking is not different from germany to poland to russia to the united states to the uk is it not safer for the fracking community really just to settle down and say well hold on we we need to do more testing, more experimenting, and get long-term effects before we start doing changes that might not be able to be rectified. Two and a half decades, we've been very, very active in the United States drilling shell gas wells. As a matter of fact, we drill 20,000 wells a year there now. So if you take this the last 10 years, we're talking about 250,000 wells that have been drilled in the U.S. That's a heck of a lot of data. But nevertheless, there is increased resistance. Protests have been occurring with regularity right throughout the year across the UK. The problem is when big business and government get together, public opposition and reason debate can be the last thing on their mind. Unit O'Neill, RT, London.